All right, Matt, need your help. So the mission is to mount this top of the boat. I've got ideas, but if you come up with a way that's better, easier, uh, let me know. So obviously it's a wind instrument. The issue is it doesn't have an internal way to calibrate. So if it's not pointed straight where it needs to go, you can't fix it. So it has to mount where this part is facing forward. So a little arc there goes straight forward. Okay. So my thought was I have these standard mounts up on the top. The current wind instrument I have is up there. This is a one inch 14 thread and I got a pipe sitting up there with a big enough hole to run the NEMA network cable down through it. So my thought was drill a hole in the bottom of this big enough for the cable to go through. Okay, so that goes on the bottom of this sensor here, right? And then take this uh, two inch piece of aluminum that I got, <clears throat> drill a hole through it, tap it the one inch 14 there, and then drill and tap these holes so it mounts on the top like that. Uh, drill a hole in the center of this so the cable can go down through and then I'm going to have to fill there's a little notch on the back of this thing where is it anyways I'd have to fill a little notch on the back of this but I think I can, that's easy to get a little epoxy in there it'll be fine so this would mount like that where am I at there so screw the hole in the issue is the hole for this is a uh, uh, 15 16 which I bought the drill. I was going to do all this myself. So I bought the 15 16 drill. I bought the 114 tap, 1 inch 14 thread tap. And then I realized if I bore the 15 16 all the way through, these three holes aren't going to fit. Right? So I need like, a, I don't know, whatever size this is. Let's say it's... Uh, quarter inch or three eighths or half inch that'll go all the way through through here bolt that up put three holes tap those three in and then uh, drill and tap the one inch 14 you know good three quarters of the way through this and call it good well then I thought if I cut I couldn't find a lock nut to lock this in place because remember I need to get the angle right so then I thought well once I'm all done if we cut you know three eighths of an inch off the bottom of this use that as my lock nut right so drill it all the way through get it ready to go get it to mount cut off three eighths of an inch maybe half inch on the bottom and use that as the lock nut so we'll put this on get this thing angled in the right direction put the lock nut on to lock it in place and then screw the wind instrument on top how hard can it be right and the cable obviously be running down the center of the pipe 